Is it safe to give your dog a bone? That's a question we get asked a lot as dog trainers. Today's video is going to go through five questions that you can ask yourself to determine whether it's safe or not to give your dog that bone. Bonus content, we are going to talk to you about a safe chewy for pups that's going to keep your pup occupied and it's also going to save your household content from those incredibly inquisitive little puppy mouths. So the first question, is it actually a bone? This is not a bone. This is a rawhide chew and really guys these are so unsafe for your dogs uh, to chew on. Apart from the fact that they're incredibly processed, uh, this rawhide has been so, so treated so extensively that it actually doesn't break down in your dog's digestive tract and what often happens is dogs chew through this middle bit. They chew through there and they swallow one of these and that gets stuck in uh, the, the intestines. It causes an obstruction and a lot of the times this results in you having to take your puppy or your dog to the vet and then having to have some pretty intensive veterinary care. So these are not dog bones. These are raw hides. In fact, there is one thing you can do with these that, that is, they're very, very good at that and that's this. Second question, is it cooked? Cooked bones are incredibly dangerous for dogs. The main reason being is that because they've been cooked, they're brittle and they're very, very likely to splinter and they can cause punctures in the dog's uh, digestive tract. They can get wedged into the top of the dog's jaws. Um, they're really, really not safe for dogs. So don't give your dogs cooked bones. Is it cut? So in other words, has that bone been reshaped from its original form? Examples of this are chop bones, rib bones, marrow bones. These are not safe bones for dogs to be chewing on. The main reason is because their jaws are not designed to cope with those weird shapes. Plus there's a lot of sharp edges on some of those bones. Chop bones, for example, have an incredibly sharp edge, which can wreak havoc inside a dog's mouth, their throat and their stomach. Here's an example of a cut bone. As you can see, this is a knuckle joint that's been, been sheared off. And while this might be okay for a small dog, for a larger dog, as soon as those ligaments joining everything break down in the middle, there's going to be large pieces of bone that could actually be swallowed and cause a big problem. If you're undecided on this, just ask your vet how many pieces of bones they've had to remove from dog's mouths, throats and stomach and how many of those bones were given to the dog in a cut form. Normally when we give our dogs cut bones, they've been cooked as well, so it's, it's a double whammy. Question number four, is it big enough? As a rule of thumb, the bone should be at least the size of the dog's head. Uh, I've got Great Dane, so that means I've got to get pretty big bones to give to my dogs, but it is possible to get these bones um, at most pet stores. You can even perhaps buy them from a wholesaler. And the bones that I get for my dogs have actually been smoked, so they're not exactly totally uncooked, but they, they're not brittle. They're still in a nice, big, intact shape, and the dogs have to work really hard to chew on these, and it's highly unlikely they're going to chew off a little piece. And the kind of bone I'm talking about is a, a, a decent size. This is the kind of bone I'm talking about. That would be suitable for a Great Dane. Um, of course, you could give this to a smaller dog as well. They're going to be very very happy with that uh, but this is this is a perfect bone for a great dane it's big enough um, you'll see what happens is they actually chew on the knuckles on the end here and they wear it right down in fact when my dogs are finished with these bones all that remains is a hollow little core in the middle which obviously I'm going to throw away and that brings us neatly to our last question is it clean and by clean we don't mean human standard clean we just mean it hasn't been lying outside forever and it's infested with all kinds of insects and whatnot and it also means that it's clean for chewing so it's not so small that the dogs are going to have any chance of being able to swallow it like I said those giant bones my great danes after a couple of days all that's left is that little bit in the middle at which point I throw it away because now it presents a little bit of a choking hazard what I actually like to do with those big bones is I give them to the dogs to chew and at the end of the day I actually collect all those bones and I put them into the fridge and I can bring them out the next day or the day after. So I get quite a, quite a long lifespan out of that one bone. So your general rule for whether a bone is safe for your dog or not is, is actually just ask yourself would I find the bone in that form or very close to that form in nature? So is it intact? Is it raw? 
and is it clean for chewing? So in other words, there's still lots for the dog to chew on and we don't run the risk of them swallowing it. Stay away from cooked bones, stay away from cut bones, and don't ever give your dogs rawhide. Rawhide is just an accident waiting to happen. Our bonus tip, if you've got a baby puppy, is you're gonna go out and buy yourself a ton of these cow hooves. They're not very expensive. You can pick up a big bag for not that much money. And what you can do with these is you can literally spread them throughout your house. So whenever your baby puppy has the urge to chew something, there's, there's a legit or a legal chew object nearby. What you can do is put some spread in this to make it even more appealing to your puppy. These are great for baby puppies, but once they get their adult teeth, so at about four to six months of age, you have to remove all of these. The reason being that adult dogs do actually have the jaw power to be able to bend these hooves when they're chewing them. And what happens is they'll have it in their mouth, they bend it, and then their saliva causes their teeth to slip and the hoof snaps back into its original shape and it can cause slab fractures of the dog's teeth. So while these are great for baby puppies, because they really don't have the jaw strength to be able to bend them, for dogs with their adult teeth, these are definite no-no. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it answered your questions on whether it's safe to give your dog bones or not. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, tell your friends and family, help us grow our channel and bring you more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.